So how do these giant covalent structures get their get their properties? Well, the main reason is due to the covalent bonds, as in the name covalent. Uh, covalent bonds are the reason for a lot of their properties. So here is a diamond. Uh, inside a diamond, if you zoomed in, this is what you'd see. There's carbon atoms all connecting to each other, and there, there are also some uh, hydrogen atoms in there, especially on the outside. So when you actually touch a diamond, you're never touching the diamond bit, you're touching the hydrogen on the outside. It's going even deeper. So here are the covalent bonds involved in diamonds. Now the hydrogens on the outside are what you'd expect of a diamond, but this is this would be such a small diamond that you'd never be able to see it. Now what you can see is they're sharing electrons. So this makes it immensely strong uh, than if you just uh, had some sort of intermolecular forces in between them. This is basically conjoining the atoms together uh, so they uh, they will not separate. This gives them the super high melting point and uh, especially the hardness of diamonds.